OpenAI's new real-time API now supports WebRTC. And my amazing teammate, Craig Dennis, just built this Cloudflare Workers template so that you, developers, can relay that through a Cloudflare Worker and use the real-time API in browser-based applications. Some of the tools he made include change background color, change text color, show fingers on a hand. I took that code and I ran with it. An application that lets you fill out this form with your voice and will give you gift recommendations so you can converse with OpenAI models in real time. My friend Tommy lives in Portland, he likes video games, basketball. Favorite movie is Star Wars. I think he would like to fly. He likes breakfast burritos and his spirit animal, I'd say is a panda. Submit that form. That initial web page was static. Then this is generated dynamic. Ooh, look, Google shopping link, autograph based basketball signed by a professional basketball player. That's my brother and he's not gonna get that. Sorry, Tommy. You can either go back to the homepage or view all recommendations that were AI generated with Llama 3.2 hosted on Cloud the Workers AI. And also upvote recommendations. And I will get a gift for Craig because Craig deserves it. Something else about this code is it generates an ephemeral OpenAI API token instead of just using a standard one. How does that work, you ask? We have our server and our WebRTC enable browser. And we request our ephemeral token. The browser initiates a request to the server's slash session endpoint. We get the ephemeral token by making a request from the server to the OpenAI API. Lastly, we establish a WebRTC connection with the ephemeral token. After your web server returns the ephemeral token to the browser, the browser can then use this API token to establish a direct WebRTC connection with the OpenAI API. This happens in the front end code. In the code here, we establish a WebRTC connection, create a peer connection, create a new data channel, new session. And that's why there's a one speaker, which we did not hear because I was going so fast. I was like, we need to see this. Here's our fill out gift form tool. Here is our slash session. And here is where we make the OpenAI REST API request for an ephemeral key with our standard OpenAI API key to authenticate to GPT 4.0 preview 2024-12.17. And we store our session. Cleanup endpoint, very important. Here is where we generate our recommendations using Cloudflare Workers AI based on those inputs that we filled out using our voice, using the OpenAI real-time API and WebRTC connection. Happy holiday eyes, and I cannot wait to see what you build this holiday season.